Welcome to this training video. This video is provided by Just ETC Technologies Inc. You can check justetc.net or computer.justetc.net for our other training videos in Magic 2 series or in other different categories. To understand this particular training video, you need to. Okay, I think this video will be about the creating multiple store. I think I will be showing the details here. Just in the immediate previous video, we talked about the overall idea. And I think I will sh be showing just the last step first. I think for multiple store, you also need to create a subdirectory or the new URL for the new store domain or something let's say if you check our previous video we have created electronics a sub store in our main store so we have created electronics because we are using subdirectory and let's say from here I copied this index dot php and dot ht access I have ins inserted them here and after copying here I have actually modified some lines it's actually about the path nothing else let's see this one because it's now one step up by default it was like this in the original index.php under app match now from this point we have to go one step up this is this so one step up app yes, we're just refined to this but by default in the main index file it's app under match but under electronics we have to come out of the electronics subdirectory then it will be app and match this is the main thing I think some reference will change you to change this line but I think this is perfectly okay it works okay now come to the details I know it will not make sense maybe if you watch our previous training video or if you go until the end of this training video then this section will make better sense just with us anyway I think this is where all the steps are described now how to do that oh, did you close everything or what okay okay the main idea is under system manage store even before that I think we have to create the a new root category for the new store and multiple store concept I think this is the multiple store concept a different store different tab and they will be all linked to it can be sub directory directory subdomain domain or different store all will have to have a root directory to root directory catalog categories and as I have chose block actually now okay and important event is a good both has to be met yes root category let's see we want to create a pet store so I'm just giving pet let's see for simplicity just giving it there is no reason give these things then to understand it you have to 
check our product and category creation video is anchor if we create is anchor then this will be coming as a link like test category otherwise it will not show up as a category is anchor available product okay custom design activate from this date activate to this date then the product page will be three column anyway so we have got a root category now what okay come here now we have to create the new store so system manage stores so this new store will point to a new website it can be a thunder subdomain it can be a subject it can be another new domain so, but we have to create this here okay let's see returning it pet.com code returning it pet sort order keep it blank i think magento will assign some sort order based on adjusting thing if you want to change it you can change it later create a store then we have to create a store view if we check here now we have to create let's create a website create a store create a store view so this is the pet.com name okay we are giving any store under pet.com root category pet.com save store okay now we have to create a store view this store pet.com main store name pet store view code pet status and on all sort order we can keep blank We can use this name pet en that should also work. Now, okay, thing is index management. You may need this sometimes as it is. So, to index data, submit. Okay, now we have to create a subdirectory. Copy the index and htaccess. This is I'm going through the first again. Now see. Okay, I think uh, before creating the subdirectory, we also need this store to point to that directory. So we have to go to system configuration. System configuration. We have to select the pet.com okay now see here in web okay this will be pet page url page url this is the secure section this is the unsecure section if you support both you have to keep both now let's see mole you have to create new directory 
8 as I have given this 8 and then I have to copy the index and then HD access then 8 copy these two files under 8 and we go to the first of the video to understand what to do thanks okay I'm just downloading these two files for YouTube users go back because it's now extending the 10 minutes barrier of YouTube now get this one and this one upload now I can edit this coming out of pet and app match everything else is fine just double check So it has been changed. Now we can see if it working or not. It should be coming here. It should be just the pet store. Now if you create the subcategory under the pet store, those will be coming here. Okay, let's see. I think this maybe have applied to everything. Now look manage categories so I will be creating okay subcategory Yes, display settings is anchor. Yes, custom design default active from here, active until this three columns, no category product. Did I miss anything? Okay, looks like something is messed up. Mm, I think I will come back later to this topic. Okay, thanks a lot.